Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. I wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. I hope you all had a nice time yesterday. If you're new here, my name is Sandhya and I do easy and quick Indian recipes on my channel. Do check out my channel and if you like it, please do subscribe, like and share. So today's recipe is a tandoori roti, which we'll make without using any tandoor or oven. We'll make it on the tawa. The detailed ingredients list is available in the description box. Please do check it out before you start. Let's have a look at the ingredients that we require to make the tandoori roti. So in here I've got atta or whole wheat flour. I've added 2 tablespoons ghee, 2 tablespoons curd, salt to taste into this. We'll also add 1 fourth cup of maida or all-purpose flour. Now we're going to make a dough out of this. We have to make a little stiff dough. So add water as required and make the dough. So let's start. Mix everything together. And now we'll add water little by little and make a dough out of it. and made it a little stiff and smoothed out the surfaces. Now we're going to keep this closed for 2 hours before we start making the roti. It's been 2 hours and the dough has rested sufficiently. Now I'm going to just divide this into equal portions. We've been divided into equal portions. Now we'll start rolling out the roti. I've picked one ball of roti. The rest will keep it covered. Flatten it out. Spread some atta. And let's start rolling it. You have to keep the roti a little thick and don't make it like a chapati. That's thick enough. Remove the excess atta and the roti is ready. So let's make the rest of them in the same way. So to make the tandoori roti, I've got an anodized tawa on fire. Make sure you use an anodized tawa or a cast iron one. Do not use a non-stick tawa. You can also use a stainless steel tawa. Okay, the tawa is heating up. I've got one of the rotis in my hand. I've got a glass of water here. I'll spread some water on the surface of the roti. And now we'll flip the water side onto the tawa, like that. Wait for some bubbles to appear on the surface. And once the bubbles appear, once the bubbles appear, we are going to invert the tawa onto the fire like that. And cook the roti in this way. the roti is done well, it will fall off like this. The roti is ready, now we can remove it from fire. Put all of them like this. 
Before serving, you can just put a little bit of butter on top and serve. So that's tandoori roti ready for you. You can serve this with any sabji or non-veg curry. Hope you liked today's recipe. If you did, please do try it at home and let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Until I see you next time, bye-bye.